Hello, this is Dean Phoenix with another Final Fantasy X tip video. Uh, this time, as part of my stat maxing series, we're going over the ultimate armors that you need to get in the game to be taking on the Dark Aeons and Penance. Now, there are two sets of armors you need there is a main set and there is a Penance set, and uh, these are the ones that you need to be having. So, uh, ideally, you want Auto Haste, Auto Phoenix, and Auto Protect. Uh, and then the fourth ability, you need to be either Ribbon, which is preferable, and Ribbon is absolutely fantastic. It's extremely difficult to get, so you may just want to have Ribbon on one of your characters and Stoneproof on the other two. I'm going to cover how you get these uh, and also why you need them. So Auto Haste is so that you're as quick as possible and you can get as many turns in and that nobody can dispel or haste or slow you, so that whenever a character is regenerated, they also have haste as well. Auto Protect helps a lot against the Dark Aeons, like you can see here, it's letting me survive if it hits. And Auto Phoenix is so that when a character gets taken down, uh, one of the other characters in the party can take can revive them with Auto Phoenix. So those are the three core abilities. Now Auto Phoenix essentially means that you can't be killed by uh, any enemy that can only do single player attacks, so can only attack one of the party at a time. And that's just a fantastic skill. Auto Haste obviously is absolutely crucial as well. And, uh, here you can see Auto Phoenix working again. Now, against the Dark Aeons, they have a lot of status attacks. Now, ideally you would want Ribbon on all of your characters, but Ribbon's yeah. extremely hard to get. But you definitely need Ribbon on at least one of your characters, uh, because some of the Dark Aeons can use attacks like Mega Graviton, and you see that uh, Tidus and Waka only have Stoneproof, and the whole party would have been disabled if Riku didn't have Ribbon, and then you would have had virtually no chance. So it's very important that somebody has Ribbon and that they can use either Item Command or Quick Pockets if they have spare MP um, to be able to use Remedy on the other characters when needed. Now if you can't be bothered grinding to get Ribbon on uh, all three of your characters or on two of your characters then the reason that Stoneproof needs to be the last slot is so that you don't get characters petrified and shattered because there are multiple uh, Dark Aeons that can petrify or even shatter a character and they can be removed completely from the fight. Which is why Stoneproof is the lesser of the options but still very necessary if you only have one character with Ribbon. Now to get Auto Haste you need to have caught a Machia from the Omega Ruins as part of the capturing and then you can bribe a Machia. Now the recommended amount is 360,000 gil and that should get you 60 but there's a lot of variation on bribing so what it's best to do is just save it first and then try and bribe them for around 200 to 250,000 gil instead and just get a medium 40-ish amount of the Chocobo Wings. You need 40 of those items to customise Auto Haste. Now if your bribe fails you can just bribe them for one gill at a time until they go away and that still counts the actual uh, bribe amount. You also get 99 chocobo wings for making auto haste the first time by capturing one of every enemy in the thunder plains. Now uh, beating a Fafnir is uh, the way that you get the curtains that you need to create auto protect. Unfortunately this is one of the easiest ones and doesn't need any grinding at all. Uh, so here you just uh, attack Fafnir, you need to be strong to do this because he's a species creation, I believe he has 1.1 million health, um, so it's going to take about 12 hits of quick hits or some of your overdrives or anything else. Uh, so you need to have very high strength and ideally you need to have already customised auto haste and then be able to take him out here as you can see uh, before Fafnir gets many or any turns uh, so you can take him out and then get the 40 light curtains uh, from him. So if you beat him twice you'll have 80 light curtains and it takes 70 to put auto protect on an armour so not counting dark matters you'd be beating him twice to get auto protect for each character's armour. Now Mega Phoenixes you get 99 as one of the capturing rewards for capturing all of the Condor type enemies. So uh, that it only takes 20 Mega Phoenixes to make auto Phoenix on an armour. So you should have more than enough for that. Um, but if you want to make them for more than uh, for more than four or five of your characters with those 99 uh, Mega Phoenixes, then you would need uh, to bribe Ghost, which is one of the uh, enemies that you will have caught in the Sunken Cave or Cavern of the Stolen Faith. And you bribe them for around 200,000 gil, and they should give you about 40 Mega Phoenixes. So again, save before you do any bribing in case you get a particularly bad drop and you don't want to waste money. Now, Ribbon is extremely difficult to customise because it takes 99 Dark Matters to customise this. 
and dark matters you only normally get in the game uh, as a rare drop from killing any of the arena creations so uh, every one in eight drops would get you dark matters instead of the regular item from any of the creations now you get 99 for capturing five of every every creature from every area so you should do all of your capturing first and then you should give one person ribbon uh, i prefer to have it on riku because then she can use mixes if needed to heal multiple characters at once in the dark aeon fights um, but you can give it to any of your main characters like say preferably riku the only other way of consistently getting dark matters or trying to get ribbon armors is that the dark aeons uh, have dark matters as their regular drop and uh, item drop and can also drop gear with ribbon in. Now the best way to get ribbon in my opinion is to farm out your Jimbo because you can fight him four times and it's repeatable instead of fighting him five times to permanently kill him. But you have to be very strong to do that. So I'll cover that as part of my uh, stat maxing guide later on. But if you're strong enough then you can farm out your Jimbo and beat him multiple times and he will eventually uh, have given you enough dark matters to customize ribbon. If you're very very lucky you can get ribbon with th uh, on a 4 slot armor with 3 free slots from him but the chances of that are less than 1% and you might not even get it for the character that you want it for so uh, that's not as reliable. If you want ribbon on all of your characters you're probably going to have to farm out your Jimbo a lot. Uh, so that is how you would get ribbon on multiple characters so just bear in mind that that's a lot of grinding so what you want to do is you get these four slot armors and now we come to actually customizing the armor when you have enough of the stuff together now auto haste is again 99 chocobo wings so you get uh, 80 chocobo wings i beg your pardon uh, you get 99 for capturing from the thunder planes first of all and then you can bribe for more Auto Phoenix you get from having 20 Mega Phoenixes, you get 99 of those for as a capturing reward. And then Auto Protect uh, you get using the Light Curtains and again 70 Light Curtains so you have to beat Fafnir twice for those. And then lastly if you have the 99 Dark Matters you can put Ribbon on there. But more likely is that you're just going to settle for Stone Proof which is from Petrify Grenades. And again you get 99 Petrify Grenades uh, as part of the capturing process uh, for capturing all one of each monster from Jose High Road. And so that's enough to put uh, Stone Proof on uh, four, nearly five armors uh, with a little bit of bribing or stealing for the extra Petrify Grenade. So there you have it, uh, that is what you would normally be running. So you want to do this for all of your main characters, uh, depending on uh, who you're leveling up and who you're going to use for the Dark Aeons. Uh, my party, recommended party would be Riku, Waka and Tidus if you just want to do things as basically as possible. Uh, so there's Tidus with his Auto Haste, Auto Phoenix, Auto Protect, Stone Proof, uh, Ultimate Armor and then R Riku has the Ribbon version that I used the 99 Dark Matters for. So I would put Auto Protect on hers and that would be the same. Now a quick mention to an extra armor you can make is Deathproof, Auto Shell, Auto Haste, Auto Regen and if you watch my video about beating Earth Eater as quickly as possible uh, the fastest way to do it is to have that particular armor uh, and to use Waka and Lona Overdrive mode and uh, that's the quickest way to farm Fortune Spheres from Earth Eater. A quick honorable mention before we uh, move on to the last set of armor uh, is if you're using break HP limit then your end game should be vastly different and uh, I'm going to be doing a separate set of stat maxing videos for break HP limit and we'll incorporate the armor into that. So for break HP limit you want to be having 99,999 HP instead of the flat 9,999 and for this you want to instead have auto haste and auto regen because when you have almost 100,000 HP auto regen does significantly um, significant amounts of healing and is really good so you want to have auto regen and auto phoenix loses its luster uh, because you're only re being restored at 10,000 out of your 100,000 health. Now you definitely want to get Ribbon if you're doing that because you're going to put so much time into maxing HP you might as well put the time into grinding Ribbon and then you would get Break HP Limit with 30 Wings to Discovery which you can get from either repeatedly beating Shinryu or bribing Marlborough or Greater Marlborough but again I'll cover that separately in my stat maxing for Break HP Limit. Now when you want to take on the uh, Penance after Penance the hardest creation in Final Fantasy X after you have beaten all the Dark Aeons uh, he will appear in the uh, as an uh, optional confrontation there and you need special armor to beat him. So if you get knocked out or let the arms get a turn against penance when you're doing a regular playthrough you will lose so you need very specific tactics and specific armor. 
And what you need instead is you need auto haste, auto potion, defense plus 20% and auto protect on all of your characters. So auto haste is the chocobo wings, and auto protect is the light curtains again. Uh, but then you need to have auto potion which needs four stamina tablets and you will have those uh, 60 of those as a capturing reward and then blessed gems that you get, that you get for beating Cacto our king so that is the penance armor that you would need for penance so i hope you found that video useful as a summary of how to get the correct uh, ultimate armors for a 9999 hp playthrough and um, please like and subscribe for more videos including my stat maxing series and the break hp list